have taken Antrim for granted and like as I said I suppose this year we might be a little bit more fortunate that we have the game at home like I said any time that we've played Antrim in the past it's been a difficult game you prepare just as hard for them as you do for the other teams I, I don't think you can write off any of these teams and from our point of view we'll be taking each game on its merits and each game as it comes the whole championship has tightened and I, I, I think last year I think it kind of threw the doors very much wide open and I'd say if you go around to all the camps in the country at the moment I think there might be a little bit of spring everywhere It's a, a tough trip uh, down to the Gaelic grounds uh, against Limerick and you know Rain and Monster champions. Um, they were they were pipped uh, in the Division One B final last year by Dublin, and I can only imagine they'll be hell bent and getting into Division One A. So it's going to be a tough trip, um, and it's a, it's never an easy place to go. But at the same time, these are the the people you want to be playing against. These are the teams you want to be pitting yourself against. And and as a as a young Antrim team, we are we're looking forward to to every game in the in the division. We have a very very. Uh, very strong group of players there at the minute who are extremely young but extremely talented. Um, it can sometimes be hard to judge when uh, when a team is going to turn it on but if we can manage to get everything right on the day uh, I think we'll be a, a match for most teams. Historically like you need to get a run going and to be honest about it you can't beat that little bit of positivity in the camp and winning games and you know what I'm saying it's good for everybody and good for morale.